Enemy Intel is brought to you by Rothman Orthopedics at Jefferson Health, the official orthopedics and healthcare partner of the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles offense will also have a big challenge against the Saints defense that I believe is playing better than the numbers indicate. Now remember, their pass defense, they're not very good when you look at their statistics, but they're a defense that plays with an offense that puts up a ton of points. So very often teams are coming from behind and therefore the numbers accumulate. Now, this is a defense that's not overly aggressive. They're not heavy blitz. They do play single high defense. Every team does. There are ways to attack that. What you want to do is attack vertically down the field. And the Eagles have shown the ability to do that at times and be successful. And here's a great example. Now we're going back to week one, but this is a concept. We want to see what the Tampa Bay Bucks did. They did it with some speed with Deshaun Jackson, and they had Chris Godwin on the outside. And it's a single high defense with Marcus Williams, the deep safety, and on the outside you have the corner. So what the Bucks did is they had Deshaun Jackson from the inside attack Williams vertically, running basically a deep corner route. But the key to that is you have to hold the corner down. And that's exactly what Chris Godwin did with his route on the sideline. So what you end up with is a deep vertical throw to Deshaun Jackson for a touchdown. Now there's many ways to attack cover three. We've seen the Eagles be very successful doing that at times. And I think that's something they're going to have to do in this game because the Saints are a very high scoring offense, but it can be done. All right, Greg showed us how the Eagles maybe can match up pretty well against the Saints' cover three. The yep. Saints' defense, they give up a lot of big plays through the air. So what do you think the Eagles' offense could possibly do against this New Orleans team? Well, that defense, as you said, they give up a lot of big plays. Those plus 20 plays, they give up more than any team in the National Football League. And the Eagles know that they're going to see a lot of cover three. They know how to beat cover three. They want to try and get Nelson Aguilar vertically. This is a big play that they had against the Cowboys the other night. When the Cowboys come out, John, they line up in a two-hide look. Look like it's a cover two, but what they're going to do is bring down Heath, the safety. This corner is going to be responsible for the deep third. On the snap of the ball, he's going to come up a little bit, which is going to make it easier for Nelson to get across the formation and across the field against him. This guy will end up trying to play catch up, but he's not fast enough, and Nelson Aguilar just blows right by him. The ball is out in front of him. He runs the football down, and I just think that more of this is what they need, and more of this is what they're going to be able to do against that cover three of the New Orleans Saints. They need the Eagles' second half defense against the Cowboys to show up in New Orleans in the first half. Carson had close to 260 yards in the second half against the Cowboys, yep. but the first half, they only had three points. What happened with the slow start? Just a very slow start, and many times it only takes one little thing for the play to go awry. If it's a missed block or a drop pass or a penalty, just a variety of things have happened with this team, and especially early in the game where they're not successful.